Hey y'all, Eric, Clueless Homesteader here again. Welcome back. Like I said in the last video, we got the Tremont 8x10 shed up, converting it into a chicken palace, I would say. Um, I had four adults here working on it. Took us about five hours, had to go slow. Follow the directions, took some breaks as we had kids helping us too. Overall, very happy with it. Uh, I think it came together pretty well. I do question the durability of this back wall, but I think it's going to be framed up better once I get my insulation in. So anyways, we got the shed up. Uh, my next plan, the one thing I'm doing today is if you can see, there is definitely some spacing in a lot of these areas. Um, so my plan is to go through and caulk all that stuff and my just all my seams, a couple of seams on the floor that I'm going to do where all the floor pieces meet and whatnot. So I'm going to go through and do all that caulking today uh, just to help tighten it up, make sure that, you know, bees can't get in here to make their nests and stuff and whatever else and keep the rain out. Um, once I get all that done, I'm going to start to build a frame inside to put in insulation. So my plan is to take some 2x4s, cut them down to size, uh, use 3-inch leg bolts to make a bottom frame here, have it go up the walls, do a couple custom cuts to go around my trusses here. And then I'm going to stack this one and a half inch thick uh, foam board onto that frame. Probably put a reflective piece on the back of some plywood and then slap the plywood up on top of that. So it'll essentially be resting against there like that. Um, inside a two by four frame with some plywood over the front of it. And hopefully that'll be enough insulation for the chicks uh, to keep them cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And then once I get the framing up, I'll be putting in, probably cutting out somewhere over here. Well, maybe probably on this side for the chicken run door. It's going to go down there. Put the automatic door in there. I'll mark and cut out where I'm going to put some vents. You know, I'll drill some, you know, two and a half inch, three inch wide holes each one of these panels here all the way around to add some more ventilation because right now the only ventilation we have is at the top there and then one straight up on this roof piece here but first i want to get it watertight 